So hi, Jessica, nice to see you guys again. This week, um, you guys got a bag, as um, some of the videos before have shared. We are going to be learning about elk from the man in the red suit story that you guys have heard. In your bags, you will have an elk cutout. You will have a couple hooks um, so that we can put it on your tree. You'll have some eyes. You'll have a candy cane. You'll have a pipe cleaner. And then, depending on what you can find at your house, we can do crayons, markers, colored pencils. You may or may want glue, um, scissors. Make sure you ask your parents to use these since they can be sharp and possibly tape. In the story, the man in the red suit lost his reindeer and was given elk to fly his sleigh. As you may know, reindeer or caribou are found in the northern territories known as Canada and closer to the North Pole. The elk the man in the red suit was given are found in Montana and other surrounding states. Elk, or wapiti, have hard horns and can weigh over 700 pounds. American Indian people who lived on the plains use elk for food, clothing, tools, and many other things. The man in the red suit was very lucky to be given the elk to help him fly his sleigh. So now that you've learned a little bit about elk, we are going to get started on our elk candy cane ornament. I would go ahead and get your eyes cut out first. And so depending on how you want to do that, I am actually just going to cut right on the line here. So now what you would do is you will take your candy cane and I'm going to go ahead and put my eyes on first. I am going to put it where I want it and then I'm going to fold it around the candy cane. And if you look on the back side, it leaves just a little bit of paper back there. And so I'm going to turn my candy cane as you see. I'm going to hold the front of the eyes and then I'm going to take just a little piece of tape. I'm going to put it on the one side and then I'm going to fold it over. And I am going to make sure that my eyes, as you can see, are wrapped around the candy cane. So then you'll take your pipe cleaner and right underneath the candy cane, you will put it underneath there. And then what you'll do is you want to make sure it's even, hopefully. Um, if not, you can make it unique and have it have crooked antlers if you'd like. But you'll put it there, make it even, and then you'll push up. And then what you'll do is you will twist around so that way it makes a, a hoop or um, a tight, not quite a knot, but a loop. So it holds it together. And then you can also go in and kind of adjust the horns how you want to make them. And then now you have your elk candy cane. The last step that we're gonna do is put the hook so that way you can actually hang it on your Christmas tree. So you will grab your hook. We're gonna take that and what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it right underneath the pipe cleaner. And this you may have to um, get a grown-up's help because sometimes it might be a little bit difficult to get that hook underneath. So you'll see I was able to put it under and the little part of the end of the hook you'll want to squeeze it together so that way it closes and it will stay hooked together and now you have your hook where you can put it on your Christmas tree. Alright so as I said we're going to be moving on to the second ornament. Simple with this you're just going to color it and so I have crayons so that is what I'm going to be using here. And I'm just going to dump them all out because I love colors. And I am literally going to use every single color I have because, like I said, I love colors. And so, okay, now I'm going to. And again, you can color this however you want. Um, you can do a solid color. You can do kind of what I'm doing and mix up the colors. You can make it the traditional elk colors with the browns and creams if, you, if you'd like. It is your elk. You make it how you want it. Now you have a few different options because we still have to put the hook in. So you can leave this as a square if you'd like. Now remember, if you decide that we're going to cut it out, which I am going to just a tiny bit, um, I would recommend not cutting so close um, if you don't want to be putting the hook through your elk. So as you can see, 
I have everything a little bit rounded. So in this area where I'm gonna put my hook or depending on where you wanna put yours, I'm going to fold this a little bit. And of course, this part you may need help with, so you may have to get an adult. You're gonna fold it a tiny bit. We're just gonna put a tiny cut through it. So as you can see, there's, there's just a little bit of a hole in there. And so again, the hook, we have two different shapes, the tinier shape and the larger. The larger goes on the tree branches. So you'll wanna take the, the littler hook, put it through, we got that. And then again, same thing as we did with the antlers here. You need to push this together to tighten it up. So you see how it's kind of loosened. So we just finished our two ornaments. I hope that you guys are having a great, happy, safe, healthy break. I look forward to seeing you guys again after the new year. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday.